Hello everyone and welcome back to another video about Top Model. Mm, let's start that over. Mm. Hello everyone and welcome back to Top Model Tuesday. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get on America's Next Top Model. First things first, go comment down below if you've ever applied, if you ever knew someone that's applied, if you have been in the talks with producers, anything that you have learned from the casting process of America's Next Top Model, comment down below so we can have a conversation about other people's experiences of trying out for the show. First things first, I want to talk a little bit about how I got on the show. I haven't really said how I got on the show, but I get asked this question more than any other question about America's Next Top Model besides how is Tyra. So let's talk about how I got on the show. First off, during Cycle 20, when they announced that it was going to be guys and girls, I was in college and I was full on in, in a lot of different organizations and at the time I was like, yeah, I want to apply, I want to do it, but it also just wasn't the right timing and so I didn't apply at all and I let the opportunity go past me, had a great year in college and then after Cycle 20, I watched the season, fell in love with some of the guys and the girls. The season was really good. And then Tyra announced that they would be doing guys and girls again. So this time, I was about to graduate college. I didn't technically apply to be on the show, but for Cycle 21, they did this interesting thing where Tyra had her website and it was similar to a social media network where you could make a profile, upload pictures, have a bio, um, all kinds of other little things and she would be casting through that process. So she was going to look through all of these, per what are they called, profiles and find people to be on the show. It was fun. It's funny because during finals week of my senior year, I made this profile on a whim. I was like, I'm going to apply, but let me just do this because um, she's asking people to make profiles and she's going to find people this way. So I made a profile, not thinking anything of it, just because I was procrastinating studying for my finals. And then the following week after finals were done, I was about to graduate college. Graduated college and then two days later I got an email from one of the casting producers that they wanted more information, they wanted me to make a video, they wanted me to send them all my stats, they wanted to do a Skype interview. So I made a video. Looking back on that video now, it's very interesting to see myself in that regard and then being on, it's just weird, it's just really weird. I would have done a lot of things different and knowing what I know now and making that video just because it was just all over the place. But anyways, so I made the video, sent them all my information, and then I did my first Skype interview with some of the producers. That went really well. And then I filled out all of the paperwork, and then January 2014, I got a phone call that I was a semi-finalist, which means that they fly you to, uh, for us it was Los Angeles, for some people it's probably a different city, but for us it was Los Angeles, so they were like, you have a month, so in February you'll be flown out to LA, you'll be one of the semi-finalists who has the opportunity to maybe be on the show. So I was really excited, I also was a little like, skeptical, because I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, but I was also really excited. So my whole process of getting on the show was very different from anybody else. I was the only, I was the only semi-finalist who was sought out through Tyra's website. Um, nobody else on my season got selected that way and I don't think she's ever done it since doing it on Cycle 21. Um, I don't know if how successful it was. I mean, I did pretty good. <laughs> it's interesting when I got there for the final week of casting before we, they selected the top 14 to learn how everybody else got chosen. A lot of people were sought out through Instagram, a lot of people applied, um, a lot of people, she, either a casting producer or Tyra herself sought them out just by meeting them on the street or just seeing an, 
word of mouth. Um, so everybody gets on the show in a different way. My way, I don't, it's not possible anymore, but it was very interesting for me because I didn't, I just didn't think anything of what I was doing making that profile on our website and then all of a sudden it was like, okay, you made this profile, you didn't even give it much thought, but here you go. And it's funny because the photos that I uploaded before applying for the show, I had only done one modeling photo shoot ever in my life. And it was about six months prior to applying for the show and it was for a friend, it was for a new magazine, it was just a photo shoot. So I uploaded, I think like three or four pictures from this photo shoot and that's all they had to base myself off of, which I thought was kind of cool, I guess. I'd never modeled before and then they were like, you got potential, boo. Come be on our show. But like I said, everybody can get on the show in a different way. You don't have to do it just like somebody before you did it or somebody from a different season got on the show. It's, it's very specific to you as an individual. So now let's talk about how you can be on America's Next Top Model. They're already filming Cycle 24, but if it's renewed for Cycle 25, which it probably will be since Tyra's back, I think the ratings will be really good. Um, let's talk about how you can get on the show or any reality show in general. First and foremost, you have to remember that it's a reality show. It's for television. Which means you have to have a compelling story that's going to come across audiences. But you can't make up a story about yourself. You can't make up your past, you can't make up who you are. Casting producers have been doing this so long that they can read through the bullshit and they can know when somebody's lying or when they're not being themselves. Because the most important thing that you can do for yourself in a casting process is to be 150% authentically yourself. It comes across so radiantly when you meet someone who is themselves, is comfortable with who they are, or they might not be comfortable with who they are, but they are letting you know everything about them and are very vulnerable. So when you are describing your personal story, your personal journey, it has to be 100% real. It has to be 100% who you are and you're giving them everything that you have, putting it out there on the table because your story has to come across to millions of people who will watch the show and you have to be rootable. You have to be somebody that people want to watch and people want to root for and that literally stems from just being completely yourself. That's the biggest piece of the puzzle. Next thing you probably should do before applying is to practice. Anytime you're trying to go into a profession, people want to see that you have potential or that you have tried to do it or that you are trying to do it. So for me, I did the photo shoot so I had something that proves that I had a little bit of potential or they saw something in me that could go into something else. So if you have free time, if you have a mirror, if you have a magazine, look at poses, look at fashion, uh, study, learn your stuff, practice in the mirror. If you have a family friend or just a normal friend who takes photos, have them do a small photo shoot with you after you've practiced a little bit in the mirror, but do something to where you have an image that somebody who's doing casting can see that you have potential and they could, you could potentially do really well in the modeling industry. It's all about practicing, it's all about putting a little bit of effort and not just expecting, here's, here's a photo, here's my story, pick me. I deserve to be on the show. Well, you might deserve to be on the show, but you have to prove to me that you want it more than the other thousands of people that also want to be a part of this competition. So, practice. Makes perfect. Another huge piece of advice, because most of the contestants are sought out through Instagram, is to try and have a little bit of a presence. I'm not saying you need millions of followers or 100,000 followers or any followers, but if you just have some type of consistency, some type of presence, some type of interest in the fashion industry or the modeling industry, and you hashtag top model, you hashtag all the ANTM uh, hashtags, Casting producers are constantly looking for new faces to bring and put them on the show. And if you are a presence, if you are showing that you want it, 
you have a higher chance of being noticed and being sought out to apply or to go straight through to the finals. Another aspect of the casting process for Top Model is a video. You probably don't have to make this video immediately after you apply, but if you make it past the first initial round, they will ask you to make a video about yourself, explaining your story, explaining who you are, because they will present everything about you, including a video, including all your stats, to the team, the network, just to pick who they want to be a part of the cast. So this video is super important because it's the first time that they are going to see you in person, telling your story, telling them why you should be on the show, but also seeing how authentic and good you are on camera. So that's another thing that you can practice. You can practice sitting in front of a camera, AKA me, I'm sitting in front of a camera. Deliver your story, be very vulnerable and be very authentic to who you are. I, if I meet somebody and they are trying to save face or not be true to who they are or just give me a bunch of bullshit, I can read right through it. I know exactly who is lying to me and who is not being themselves and that's the problem because you don't want somebody to be on a reality TV show and trying to win a competition and when they do their interviews or they do anything on the series you don't feel the genuineness they want people who are themselves who are who know who they are and know what they want and aren't lying to the world don't lie so this video is super important so just literally lay it all out there be yourself and have a good time with this video. Another aspect that I tell everyone who is going to be on a reality show or how do I explain what it's like to be on a reality show is if you've ever been to a party with a bunch of friends and the energy is just really high and you're having a lot of fun, that energy is what you have to bring 100% of the time through the casting process, through the filming process, because it feels like you're just constantly at a party with this high energy. It's very exhausting, but it's great. But that's what translates and that's what is contagious and that's what makes you stand out is having just this intense amount of energy and love for what you're doing and love for who you are and it's super, super important to have that energy and not be in the front of a camera just like, Hi, my name is Will. How are you? It's being that elevated version of yourself that you would be at a party with your friends at all times. Because nobody wants to see somebody that's like, boring, Miss America pageant, world peace. Mm -hmm. You have to have that energy when you're doing any part of the casting process. Another thing that's really, really, really important to have in mind when you're doing the casting process or you're trying to get on the show or you're trying to get on any reality show is patience. Sometimes you may not fit what they're looking for. Reality TV is very interesting because they are trying to fit a mold for the series. So there are different character types, there are different personality traits that they're trying to piece together to make an amazing cast, an amazing group of competitors to compete and win the show. So sometimes you may not fit a specific season or you may not fit a theme for a season. You may also just not fit what they're looking for at that moment, but they might keep you in mind for future seasons. It's all about patience. If you get told no, never ever stop. If it's something that you really, really, really want, you can't give up and say, I don't want to do it anymore because they told me no once. Fun fact, Raylia applied five times before she got on her sixth time. I think that's right. It definitely was at least five times. She applied five times to be on the show. And then on the sixth time, they said yes. She may not have fit everything that they were doing. If you look back, every season was different. There was an All-Stars. There was America versus uh, British Invasion season. There was college season. There was the first guy and girl season. So you might not fit what they're looking for for that specific season. So it's all about patience and persistence. If if I apply for America's Next Time Out on the first time they tell me no and I don't apply again, they're not going to reach out to me. I'm not going to be remembered. But if you are continually applying five, six, seven times, hopefully it's not that many, but 
If I see your face five years in a row, I'm going to remember you and I'm going to have a name to a face. I'm going to know more about you than any of the other contestants. So I can fight for you to be on the show more so that I can fight for somebody who's only applied once. So don't give up. It's all about patience and persistence and not getting hurt if you don't get selected. It's all about fitting a puzzle together to make the competition what it is. What else? My personal journey of getting on America's Next Top Model is very different from everybody else and everybody that was on my season that I'm aware of how they got on the show is very different from each other. So the way you get on the show may not be how you think you're going to get on the show. The way that somebody else gets on the show may not be the way that you got on the show. So it's going to be very specific to who you are. If you are doing all the elements and trying to find every avenue to get your name out there, to get yourself noticed, to get here I am, pick me, in every single avenue, you have a higher chance of being noticed. Of someone saying, okay, I've seen this girl here, and then somebody else saying, I saw them over there too. And then another producer saying, oh, I saw them there. That's three people fighting for you, who know you, who have seen you, who see potential in you, and can push for you to be part of the cast. So. Don't just do, okay, I'm gonna apply, send in your application and then stop and say whatever happens, happens. Because how many people in this world have ever just filled out an application, sent it in and have been like, okay, I'll get it, I know I will. That's not how the world works. The biggest and the best piece of advice if you are trying to get on the show or you're trying to get on any reality show is to be yourself. Some people have this misconception that they have to be somebody else to fit what they're looking for, but that's not true. Reality TV wants people who are themselves, who aren't ashamed of who they are, who own their story, who can translate across to an audience because people love human beings that are themselves, that are authentic, that can be vulnerable on television. And so that's the biggest piece of advice is to just be yourself and don't try to be somebody that you're not. I don't want to watch somebody that's trying to be somebody that they're not. Do you? No, I don't. I really don't want to do that. Like I said earlier, make sure you comment down below if you've ever applied, if you've ever known somebody that's applied, if you've known somebody that's been on the show, just so we can have a little bit more of a conversation about how other people's experiences trying out for the show have been. Maybe it can help you get on the show for Cycle 25. If it happens, cross your fingers. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next Tuesday with an all another Top Model Tuesday. Bye.